Fire Motor versus Drone. Check it out. I uh, brought the toy hauler home because I'm kind of gearing up for a trip sometime soon. I've got solar on board now. Oh, my friggin' lens fogged up. It's so hot out here. I'm gonna be doing an update video on my second channel for all the upgrades I've done on the toy hauler. But long story short, on this project, I'm about ready to roll out for a trip, which I think I'm just gonna do like a big Northeast tour. So comment down below if you have any ideas of where I should go in the Northeast. Today's a very special day because about once a year there's a local balloon fest and if you guys have been tuned in, I've been making videos at this balloon fest for like the last three, four, maybe even five years. And somehow, inevitably, at least the last three years, I either got reported to the FAA, police were called, holy sh that's another story. Somehow the police or the FAA are always called at these things and it's not because I'm doing anything wrong. I don't know, it just seems cursed for some reason. But that's what we're doing tonight. We're gonna go fly around the balloons at the Balloon Fest. So that bug that nearly took my head off while I was up on the toy hauler is called a cicada. And you can hear them in the background. The Northeast is apparently being overrun by these cicadas which hatch every 17 years. They come out for a couple weeks, mate, and then like bury into the ground and don't come out for another 17 years. It's extremely weird and I don't understand it. For some reason, they seem to be very attracted to my paramotors. I posted on Instagram a couple times. They've burrowed into my engine on the Maverick twice, and they've also tried to hatch in the harness of both the Maverick and the Scout. What the fuck is that? Those are cicadas freaking growing in my engine. Look at it, it's like freaking crawling out of the shell. A lot of people suggested that this motor was warm and that's why the freaking larva were in them, but it's been sitting here cold for days. Yesterday it was fine and they're freaking back. God damn it. That is so nasty, dude. For that reason, I've moved both my paramotors into my living room so that they can be in the air-conditioned, climate-controlled, and bug-free area. So I've got the Maverick and the Scout, my two primary paramotors. And in deciding which one I'm gonna fly tonight, I really only have one choice. And that's because I broke the Scout. In a recent video, I put a new harness on the Scout. It's a new updated version. And unfortunately, the material used for the seat board is the classic corrugated plastic. And the first couple flights, I was flying pretty gently on it because I knew it was gonna fold in half. But then a couple nights ago, I was flying it and I wanted to stress test it and just see how much it would take to snap. It didn't take much. Maybe it's just my build that I have a scrawny ass and it puts a lot of force right in the middle of the seat board. But the stock seat board definitely isn't gonna hold up to a lot of G-forces. My Maverick, on the other hand, a lot of people have been asking, some people are like, did you get rid of the Scout? Truthfully, I've been flying this setup more often for two main reasons. The first is, it's new. I've always flown the Scout, and recently I just put together this configuration with an old engine and a brand new frame, and I wanted to put more seat time in it to get more really in tune with how it flies and how it is to operate. My second reason is it has a three blade E-prop and I love E-props and I have yet to get my hands on an E-prop for my Scout. It needs a special model. The quick acceleration of the E-prop has been drawing me to this motor more often. I talked about it in a previous video, but here I go again. If you fly a Moster and you haven't experienced an E-prop, I sell them on my web store, tuckergot.com. Check them out, I got the two and three blade for the standard Mosters and the 130 centimeter. All right, we're loaded up. We got the Maverick Mobile, we got tons of gas, headed to the park, and I wanted to share this with you guys. A couple days ago, I went flying, there were five of us. The flight was insanely awesome. And I was just flying for fun. I wasn't planning on posting any of the footage. I was just filming in case something catastrophic happened. Nothing catastrophic happened, but the footage was so good, I wanted to share it anyway. So cue random throwback transition to epic footage, and then we'll be down at the park.
right, so here we are at the legendary park. Wind conditions are a little bit stronger than I expected. It's been super hot today and it's been really thermally, but Dan just went up, checked the air, said it was fine. So I chose Dan. I'm gonna take off and I'm going to fly that way downwind and get to the balloon launch. Hopefully before they launch, we're gonna try to time it right. And then I have to fly back home into the headwind, which is not preferable, but hopefully we time it right. And I'm gonna try to get back kind of early so that we can run over. We're actually going to where we print the Risky Biscuits Co merch to watch the Logan Paul versus Floyd Mayweather fight. So that's the plan. Hopefully everything works out seamlessly. Okay, so before we go any further, we have an important order of business to take care of. Recently, we dropped some sweet new t-shirt designs at Risky Biscuits Co. You can find them linked in the description, and we've been giving away GoPros in between each video. So far, we've given away two GoPro 9s, and it's time to announce the winner of the third GoPro. The winner of the third GoPro is Axel Klinger from somewhere in Delaware. Congratulations, Axel. You will find that fresh new GoPro in your order. Now, in order to spice things up for a grand finale, I decided to throw in an extra prize for our final giveaway. Because I got involved in an aerial dogfight with a drone in this video, I figured why not give away a drone? So we've got a DJI Mini 2. This is one of the drones that you don't have to get registered. You don't have to worry about any of the crazy regulations. This thing is freaking sweet. I'm jealous. I wish I could have this drone. So the scoop is we're gonna throw this drone in a random order placed between this video and the next video. So visit tuckergot.com, pick up some sweet Risky Biscuits Co merch, and you might just find the sweet new DJI Mini 2 in your order. All right, the paramotor gang is just rolling up hot and dirty. Got Dan over there. Got Jeff up there. Target's acquired. About to wreck havoc. Not really, we're gonna be respectful. Bro, that balloon is landing at the tractor supply. How freaking redneck is that? Yeah, I'm gonna need a new rake, a couple hay bales, and a fresh tiller for the John Deere. Just load it up in the basket. Put my McDonald's run to shame. Friggin' tractor supply run in the hot air balloon. That's next level. <laughs> Dude, there's two of them. They got their freaking trailers set up in the parking lot. That's a fat wing over, my guy. Oh, nothing to see here, guys. Woo! Nice to see everyone being COVID friendly in that balloon basket there, eh? Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> you, you know it's hot when I can see their sweat stains from over here. Hello, my good friends. <laughs> Everyone on the internet saying, Why you always got about red no day about air balloons? You're trying to enjoy the piece of quiet up in the air. Not your loud rattly old so stroke mobile. That was a lot. Ah. Yeah, so that's basically the situation. I'm not really allowed to fly over these neighborhoods, and all the balloons are drifting over that way over all the neighborhoods. So uh, this is about as far as I can go. Because I'm a legal law-abiding, respectful, young, handsome paramotor pilot, god damn it. Dude, that's still the most gangster thing here. Parking your hot air balloon in front of the tractor supply. <laughs> Flying my paramotor to the DMV. Holy shit, I gotta do that. Oh, a drone! Holy shit! You can't get me, drone. Far more capable than you. <laughs> air to air combat. 
paramotor versus drone. Shot, buddy. Check out this maneuver. Corrugated rail drag. Killing it. Absolutely killing it. <laughs> that was sick. Packed up. We made it to the shop. The fight or the stream started like an hour ago, so we're gonna get it on and see what's going on. World's biggest screen over here. <laughs> You'll have to excuse the noise. My neighbor just fired up his lawnmower. It sounds like a damn World War One biplane. So the Mayweather Paul fight, if you guys have any interest in that sort of thing, I don't even know what to say. It was weird. Did Mayweather let Logan win? Was it all just an act? Was it pre-planned? I don't know. Comment down below what you thought. At the end of the day, it was entertaining. I was honestly hoping for something more spectacular to happen, but it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. So far, I haven't heard of any reports to the police or the FAA, so I think we officially did the balloon launch flight without any issues. Make sure you check out TuckerGod.com down in the description. Check out the Risky Biscuits Co. merch. You might find a sweet DJI Mini 2 in your order. Appreciate all your guys' support. I'm gonna go tell my uh, neighbor to take the choke off of his lawnmower. See you guys in the next episode. Till then, peace.